Hi, I'm going to show you how to install the Targus USB 3 Super Speed dual video docking stations. Many manufacturers are now updating the drivers that are available for the USB 3 host controller and the display adapters which makes it a lot easier for users. So we're going to go ahead and update those drivers and I'll show you that now. So click on the start all just over here and right click on computer and click on properties in the pop-up menu. Click on device manager which is just a link, a single click. Click the little arrow next to the entry display adapters. And for each entry right click and click on update driver software then click on search automatically. So you must have either a network connection to your computer or wireless networking active to do this. So now it's searching online for the latest software for, for that particular display adapter. So it's found that the best driver software for your device is already installed so you can go ahead and close that and do the next entry, do all three entries there. Now go down to Universal Serial Bus Controllers, click the arrow next to it and look for any entry that has the word controller in it and again do the same as we did for the display adapters. So assume that's all been done, close the device manager and close this window here. So basically we've got no windows open, I have an active network connection, I can go ahead and do the remaining part of the installation. The docking station has already got its power adapter connected and it's all powered up, so this is the final connection here. Down here you'll see installing device software. Just click on that bubble and you will see the software installation window and it's searching Windows Update. That's because I've got the network connection, it's able to do that. It will install the latest drivers on Windows Update. And you see this window has come up and because I've opened this, it's in hidden, just click I accept to accept the agreement and that will enable the software to completely install. It's very important for you not to disconnect the docking station to the, during this part of the process. Now the black flashing screen is normal and it's almost there. So patience is key. In some cases you may get a prompt to restart your computer, other cases you won't. Okay, here we go, here's the prompt. You must restart your computer. And we'll just fast forward to when I've restarted. As you can see, the screen after restart, has external screen has come on. And now I can go ahead and configure the display.